who are some of the people that are around you that continue to influence you? Oh gosh. Let's talk about that. Um well, I don't know if you know this group called Chaotic somewhere. Um They're all right. Yeah. But yeah, like truly you guys and the um Sometimes I'll see a hip hop, or, you know, hip hop group, and without, without like making any any assumptions, mm -hmm. you just you know, and you watch them, you have respect for them, but you don't know if if, if they're if they're gonna make their mark, their mark, you know, in the fabric of hip hop, are they really going to make an imprint? And I think with you know the chaotic, I think that's I always felt like it was so. Um, like between you guys and Snap and Theology and K, as far as Houston is concerned, it's one of the you all are, are part of the are part of the, the crew that I took the time to you know to study the lyrics. Like, okay, what are they saying? Okay, okay. I mean, I'm I'm always that person who studies the lyrics and stuff like that, but. Because out of respect, like if I go to their show and they know I'm going or I'm gonna shake hands with them and stuff like that, I kind of just want to know what I'm, you know, what I'm talking about, right. you know, like, okay, what song do you like? But, oh, you know, all that, all that. So, you know, for me, especially with a person like Snap, you know, I remember him always saying, you know, uh, especially in the, um, in the cypher being the only girl who's able to listen in and whatever, then he would look back and say, okay, so what do you think about, yeah, I heard that, and I like how you linked it with I'm like, oh, okay. So that made it, because yeah. hip hop means that much, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it makes me. But um, who else is around that I really have a lot of respect for? Of course, is Flo Factor Maverick. And I, I think they all, in their perspective, they, it's what I remember as being hip hop mm -hmm. compared to what's going on now. I don't mind. I love me some Kanye. I love me some, you know, some Kid Cudi, and you know, that's fine. But because of where I come from, I've got this certain standard or just a little box that, you know, oh, you're an MC. Okay, you must sound like this or this or this or this or this or that, right? You know, and if they don't, then I. It's not that I shun them or push them to the side. I just feel like, well, they just need to mature some more. Cause that, you know, cause I just, <laughs> you know, all that. So. Yeah. That's um, but uh, as far as singers, there I have Coretta Bell, who is you know you you always have to have a, a continuation of music. Just that's not the way it is. It just won't stop. It has there has to be a, a continuing line of of it just has to it has to continue. Like right. who's going to continue? You know the legacy. So if I love um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, or Parliament, any you know, then who's doing that now? That's why I love Outkast. If you have Sugar Hill, you know, or who, who's continue? Oh, okay, the Goody Mob. You know, it's just that's I want to hear the same hunger, the same struggle, what have you. So now, uh, as far as the singers and R and B, I look to I look at, at Coretta because you you're always going to want to hear a pretty sound. You know who a, you know from a woman who's sassy and just very um, is creative and all that, and that's and that's Coretta. There's also the rock vibe. There's you know Camante and, and Teresa, Kumba Freak. Then you've got the eclectic side. Um, you have uh, Tori or his son, 